Since iPad is the ultimate device that can achieve both of the tasks as a handwriting notebook and a computer, I found myself that I've been using iPad daily. However, same with any device, iPad can be a massive distraction as well. This device can also please you with entertainment, video game, and web browsing. So I thought to myself that, hmm, I should make this device distraction free since I've been using it more often. Especially with the recent update of its OS, iPad became one of the most productive device for students or any type of professionals. Because of that, I made my iPad productive as much as possible to utilize this amazing tablet to its full potential. So let me stop wasting time and let's get right into it. Oh, FYI, before we get into it, this video is hugely inspired by Byte Reviews. He's an awesome tech YouTuber, and if you guys like aesthetic tech content and iPad content, I think you guys will love his channel as well. So please go check it out. I will leave a link in the description, but let's get right into it. This is the main screen of my iPad, and I know there's nothing much going on. I am a true believer that we don't really need a complex productivity system, nor a bunch of productivity apps to keep ourselves productive. So on my iPad, everything is relatively simple. Since you can put widgets on the home screen now in iPad OS. I tend to put all of my favorite widgets on the first page to have instant access to them. I also made four shortcuts via shortcut app to make my life more simple and I will show it to you guys how I made these shortcuts later in the video so please stay tuned. On my first page I have all my essential apps so for creative apps I have Lightroom and Procreate and etc and for note taking I have GoodNotes 5, Google Docs and Apple Notes and stuff and these are the apps that I use almost every single day on my iPad and other apps, I just use it sometimes, so I put it in the other pages. Since iPad does not support any type of professional level video editing software such as Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve, I tend to use this iPad for photo editing, idea generation, illustrating, and note taking. Also, for me, iPad is a productivity device. 99% of the stuff that I do on this product has to be something productive, educational, creative, or work work related. Allegedly, if I scroll to other pages on my iPad, I've been separated them into a folder so it will take me an extra step to reach to those apps. Also, for Grand Theft Auto, Auto Sandreas, and a YouTube app, two of my most addicting app on this tablet, I put it all the way at the end so it will be harder for me to reach to those app and actually open them because I tend to play a lot of GTA and watch a lot of YouTube videos. I also don't have a to-do list. Since all my to-dos and reminders are on my phone or a laptop, I tend to not put it in my tablet because if I put to-do list on every places, I will probably check every single, let's say 10 minutes and it will end up making me not productive. So I just don't put a to-do list. I don't need it. Anyway, jumping right into the widgets, the first widget on the top left corner is Google Calendar. I absolutely love this app and I've been using this for almost four years now. Since I schedule every single hour in my life, I know that is kind of too much, but that's just me and Selby. I love how this medium-sized widget shows the overall dates in the month and my next schedule, which keeps my daily tasks smooth and keeping my mind organized. Under that, I have four shortcut widgets. Each of them, I mean, three of them have different type of purposes and I use them every day. On the top left corner, I have a shortcut to my Google Docs, which I store all my scripts for this YouTube channel. The reason why I have a specific shortcut for this rather than just open up a Google Google Docs app is because number one, I do have an additional setting for the shortcuts to turn on my focus mode. And number two, I feel like it is a little bit more easier for me when I have everything sorted in the widgets and it's just faster for me to digest in my brain that I am open up my, you know, YouTube scripts. Speaking of adding an extra feature on the shortcut widget, all of these shortcuts widgets that I have on my home screen have an extra feature to turn on a focus mode called work. This only allows certain people and apps to give me a notification so I don't have to constantly check them. Plus, this mode will give a notification to a person for whom to text me when I'm on this focus mode via iMessage. So that's kind of cool bonus as well. In addition to that, when I turn on this focus mode, the iPad itself will eliminate the home screen just to this first page, which keeps me very focused and distraction free. Next to Google Docs, I have a shortcut to activate my favorite Pomodoro timer app called Be Focus Pro. It allows me to focus for a short period of time and it's very useful. Since Spotify is still not compatible with iOS shortcuts, I've created two Spotify shortcuts that will take me to my favorite playlist on Spotify, which 
both of them are ambient sounds. I know this might sound kind of odd or weird to you guys, but I tend to focus better with ambient sound, i.e. fire crackling sound or an environmental sound of a cafe. I'm just not very good focusing deeply with lo-fi hip hop going on in the background, so I just love to use an ambient sound to focus better. Under the shortcuts, I have a group of favorite pages from Notion. This widget is available straight out of the Notion app, and since my whole note-taking system does involve Notion, this widget becomes very handy and it's essential. I've got a page from my undergrad thesis, finance, annual goals, video ideas for YouTube, and an overview of my project files. Focus mode has been a game changer for me. I use them every single day and from now on, I think I cannot live without focus mode. On my focus mode setting, I have the standard do not disturb, editing, fitness, sleep, and last but not least, work. Not only these focus modes are included in my shortcut widgets, each of these focus modes does have an automation setup. So although my Apple device that is synced via iCloud does choose which focus mode that will be on depending on the time and the day which is pretty awesome and I don't have to like tap it manually. All embracing, this is how I made my iPad productive as much as possible. However, before I bounce out, let me show you guys how I made my shortcuts and focus mode. Completing all of these settings is quite simple. Just go to the settings menu, go to focus and hit the plus sign. After that, choose custom, pick a color and a logo and create a name. After that, add people or apps that can contact you. And there you go, you just made your very first custom focus mode. To automate it, you just simply add on the automation section and pick the time and dates you want the focus mode to turn on. Additionally, choose home screen to customize a page that will appear when you turn on the focus mode and you're pretty much good to go. For the shortcut widgets, it's pretty simple. For instance, if you want to make the Spotify shortcuts, all you need to do is to go to the playlist that you want to integrate on Spotify. And after you copy the URL, go to the shortcuts, tap open URL, then paste the URL on top of that. After that, set search focus, choose the focus mode that you want to turn on and choose the way that focus mode will turn off. And there you go. You've just created a brand new shortcuts that will take you to your favorite Spotify playlist. I know that you can do a lot more stuff with the Apple shortcuts and I'm trying my best to figure out as much as possible. However, I do kind of like this system that I have on my iPad right now. It's nothing too complicated and it's very simple, especially a dummy for me. I do like a very simple system. And if you guys can really to this or if this video was helpful for you please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button and please don't forget to check out bite review as well and these are my two favorite ipad pro videos this is my most recent video and my channel but anyway guys i hope you guys have a great day my name is peace gates you guys already know peace out guys